Mrs. Tournier suffered a stroke, or CVA, 10 days ago. After admission to the neurology unit, she now begins rehabilitation therapy. Her right side is paralyzed. She also has problems speaking and swallowing. This film has been made to explain the various post-CVA rehabilitation therapies and activities to both patients and their families. I have some good news for you. Your stroke rehabilitation therapy starts tomorrow. Our goal is, of course, to help you recover as much as possible. This is really the main goal. I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Marie-Christine. I'm a nurse and I'll be working with you today. Here we specialize in stroke rehabilitation therapy. There'll be different therapies throughout the week. Starting today? We start today. Uh -huh. A nurse and a nurse's aide welcome Mrs. Tournier to the stroke rehabilitation unit. The nurse explains her therapy schedule. The entire team of caregivers that will be working with Mrs. Tournier come to introduce themselves throughout the day. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Jean-Claude. I'm a physiotherapist. Carol. Hello. The physiotherapy we'll be doing together is intended to help you recover your ability to do things that you used to do as best as possible to help you get out of bed, to move around, perhaps with a wheelchair at first, and to go wherever you wish in the hospital, and then we'll help you stand up to slowly walk again, and if possible, we'll see how you recover. We can't know ahead of time just how things will evolve. Various doctors come to visit Mrs. Tournier. They discuss her medical history together and perform a full medical checkup. They explain the proposed therapy program, its objectives, and the estimated time rehabilitation might take. Feeling. But do you feel anything? No. Here, am I touching your hand or your arm? No. Post-CVA rehabilitation therapy is meant to stimulate recovery, to help the patient adapt to the sometimes inevitable sequelae or lasting effects and to foresee complications. An entire team of healthcare professionals work with the patient. Doctor, nurse and nurse's aide, physiotherapist, occupational therapist, speech-language pathologist, neuropsychologist, social worker, dietitian, and a physical education teacher. Although this film presents a specific patient, each case is different. A multidisciplinary team defines the stroke rehabilitation program's goals in the first week following the patient's arrival. Try to relax. See if you feel comfortable like this. The nurse checks the bell to ensure that it works and prepares Mrs. Tournier for the night. I'm removing your glasses and I'm placing them on the nightstand, all right? I'm putting them in here. See you later. The nurse observes the patient during the night. She visits her room regularly to ensure that all is well and to respond to any possible requests. Here, let me help you. I'll take care of this side. Marie-Christine's behind you to help if it's too difficult. Moving from the bed to the wheelchair is an important step in regaining one's independence. One must first work on their balance and strengthen their muscles in order to recover mobility. Now we're going to do a deglutition test to see how well you swallow. Mrs. Tournier is fed through a nasogastric tube. Her speech-language pathologist and the nurse perform regular deglutition tests. Please close your mouth, slightly bend your head and try to swallow. There, now close your mouth, move your head forward. Move forward, slide, lean forward as far as you can. More, more, more. Oh, I'll help you. Now straighten up like that. Great, that's it. The physiotherapist helps the patient recover as much mobility as possible. They quickly work on her capacity to walk and continue throughout the recovery process. Each patient participates in rehabilitation activities several times a day. The rate and intensity of these physiotherapeutic activities are adapted to the patient's needs and ability. Okay, the machine's ready, so we can begin. Let me show you. Our goal is for you to use your arm as much as possible. 
The machine's programmed to help you raise your arm, move it slowly from right to left, and to help you interact with the images that you see on the screen. There, now you're near the apple. Here, I'll show you. Good. With your shoulder, huh? Now, squeeze with your hand like we saw before. Okay, yes, now that's it. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And now when the cart changes color, you see, let go. The occupational therapist works with the patient throughout the entire rehabilitation, readaptation process. He suggests various therapeutic activities and technical aids. He also adapts the home environment for the patient to enjoy a certain level of independence in both daily life and, whenever possible, professional activities. There you see, you squeezed. Now relax your hand. Good. Squeeze again and now let go. Let go? Great. Use this button. That's it. Very good. Good. That's good. Fine. We are now going to do the same exercise as yesterday. The cards are laid out, so choose one and try to make me guess which one it is, any way you can. Blue. Is this it? Yes. Very good, wonderful. The speech-language pathologist works with language and speech-related problems. The neuropsychologist analyzes cognitive functions such as concentration and memory problems. We'll do it again. Watch. There's fruit salad. The patient learns to use customized eating utensils during the meal. A nurse's aide is on hand to help if necessary, but Mrs. Tournier needs to learn to feed herself little by little and recover her independence. I bought a melon yesterday. Mm. I love melon with ham when the weather is warm. Was it good? Yeah. And ripe? It was Mrs. Tournier came to the stroke rehabilitation unit 20 days ago. Daily work with occupational and physiotherapists has helped her greatly improve her mobility. Although she still needs help washing herself, she can already wash her face and upper body. Is it okay? Yes. Place your right foot. Good. Lift. Good. Now try to stand up. Good. Shift your pelvis over your right foot. Good. And now there is no pressure on your left foot, so move it back. There. Great. Now stay. 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 So, are you taking good care of Mrs. Tournier? Yes, good. I wanted to tell you, now she can move on her own. Upstairs, with a new wheelchair. Fine. Uh, can you please let everyone know? She's recovering well. There's absolutely nothing to worry about. Now you're peeling your apple and you're turning it. Very good. A well-conceived infrastructure and work with quality professionals creates a positive environment to help patients return to normal life. So, concerning Mrs. Tournier, uh, we met today to discuss her case. Uh, she is progressing well. She will be able to return home in about two weeks. Um, all that needs to be done now is to ensure that her medication is managed properly. She can use a seven-day pill box. A nurse will supply it regularly and open the tablets for her because she can't do it alone yet. We also recommend outpatient, physio, occupational and speech-language therapy. We are now going to do a schedule. It's a very simple exchange between two people. First, we scribble something on a piece of paper. These workshops enable patients to meet and interact with other people while having a good time. Stroke rehabilitation patients have a chance to express themselves creatively in the art therapy workshops. Such experiences awaken the senses. However, patients are neither pressured nor obliged to participate. Hello, Mrs. Tournier. How are you? Not bad. Not bad? Not bad. So what time did you return yesterday? Uh, around time. 6 p.m. Around 6 yeah. p.m. for dinner? Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh-huh. Good. And how did things go at home? Not easy. Not easy. What wasn't easy for you? Mm. Going 
going to bed. Oh, I was too, too far down yes. in the bed. Okay. And then... Then we had to... Difficult to get back up. To get her back up. Okay, I see. But don't worry, you're going to have, well, you've already had occupational therapy. He's going to schedule... Yes, he'll be coming. ...a home visit. Good. After four weeks of stroke rehabilitation therapy, Mrs. Tournier can dress herself. She's learned to manage her pillbox and take her medicine by herself. And she moves around with her cane on her own. Wonderful. Good. Shall we go? Let's go. Our goal is for you to use the walking stick in the apartment and to leave the wheelchair at the front door. You should use the walking stick and different objects in the flat uh, as support to help you get around. And since your kitchen is rather large, well then, I think... uh, Remember the machine that we used? Yeah. You should think about that. Maybe use a tray on wheels. The occupational therapist visits the patient's home to analyze how it can be adapted and made safer, in particular through the use of accessories. A support handle to help you get in. It has to be drilled into the wall to make it safe. We're here to discuss the type of assistance you'll need when you return home. The social worker explains the administrative, social and insurance issues to the patient and her family. She also acts as liaison between the patient and the various support groups she will work with once she leaves the hospital. This is what is known as the family meeting. You have greatly improved since your cardiovascular accident seven weeks ago. I am sure you are aware of this. You can walk with a cane, and we were able to remove the catheter. We are here today to discuss the situation and see how to proceed. The patient's family is included in the rehabilitation process from the moment she enters the unit. Discussions with the nurses and nurses' aides are an integral part of the therapy. The family is included in the multidisciplinary meeting for an overview of the patient's progress and ongoing care. To continue working on speech, walking... Seven weeks after her arrival, Mrs. Tournier leaves the stroke rehabilitation unit. She walks with a cane. Her upper body is still weak, but she can wash herself and get dressed. She still has some difficulty speaking, but makes herself understood in everyday situations. I... I cooked. You cooked? With the... the young man. What young man? There aren't any young men here. Oh, cute. The occupational therapist. Mm -hmm. The return home is prepared in collaboration with the home care service. Outpatient therapy is also scheduled. Post-CVA stroke rehabilitation is absolutely necessary. It increases the patient's chances of recovery. Even if some sequelae or lasting effects are inevitable, the goal is to recover the greatest independence and self-sufficiency possible. Outpatient rehabilitation is sometimes necessary after leaving the hospital. Motivation is a key factor. Do not hesitate to ask any questions you or your family might have concerning stroke rehabilitation.